So today I wanted to go into, uh, <clears throat> finish this book. Well, not really finish it, but just uh, step off into a different angle uh, in relation to what I experienced last night. And just kind of like add it to um, the rest of this book and what's been going on. So uh, last night I attended an open mic here in Sedona. Done it a few times. It's really cool to just be out there with people and just be in, just truly be in your surroundings. Just be in the moment in your surroundings. And if your surroundings are people, then you can be with those people. You're I'm like, you're really there is another space. See, a lot of the times we, we, uh, A lot of times we go out and we're like, oh, this is the way you go out. <laughs> this, we have an idea of what it is to go out or you, you got to look a certain way. You got to dress a certain way. You got to talk a certain way. You got to be a certain way. The whole like all these structures that are available that only exist in our in our heads. They only exist in, in an idea of something that somebody else put together. When in reality, uh, we're beyond, like we, when you're at home talking with your family, you speak a different way. Uh, when you're talking with your friends, you speak a different way. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the mixture. That's part of the flow. What I'm saying is that once we divide ourselves, once we separate ourselves so much um, into different ideas of who we are, um, it has a tendency to get out of hand. That's where the ego percentage starts to come up and uh, <clears throat> overtake our heart centers. And then we get caught up in the in the versions of reality. We get caught up in the the ideas, the perspectives, the judgments, the external rather than the internal. Um, the internal space that is connected to everybody that is always on point and always uh, just there present that's the main thing in your presence you're on point when you're on point you're present it's the same as being in the zone like when you play sports so I play baseball when I was pitching there was times where it was like, you would just know you could throw and hit that spot 90 feet away you could throw a ball and hit the catcher's glove <clears throat> in a location that both of y'all know that hitter is not going to be able to touch there's a feeling there there's an intuition You're like all right i'm gonna throw this here there's there's times where you just you're so in sync with uh with your own flow, your own galactic spin, whatever whatever it is, whatever flavor it is, <clears throat> there's each and every one of us have our own. And uh, once we activate it fully, because uh, we're always consistently activating it as we go in each moment. We're learning how to activate it more and more on the ongoing moment. Uh, and in those little spurts of the moment are those times when we get, we catch it. Like we get it. We're in that moment so deeply that it just flies. So these are those wings. These are the wings of the flow. And fitting when it comes to uh, the, the birds who have mastered the skies, the art of flight and uh, like what if the birds have mastered the skies and the art of flight what what are the human beings here to 
master wouldn't necessarily be or you could use that word I wouldn't use that word right now because I want to uh, thread it in with the harmonies of everything because mastering has like a almost a dominant dominance kind of a feel to it so if I could just take that out of it and say yeah mastering as far as not dominating but truly understanding uh, falling in love with whatever it is that <clears throat> falling in love with whatever it is that we are uh, we're studying or whatever it is that we're doing and being perfectly present in that space to activate those feathers to activate that flow to activate that flight and then to expand that on a collective scale like what is humanity's flight if birds have flight then what is what is the human being here we haven't even we haven't even discovered that of ourselves the closest we can get to that is the pyramids today there is that <laughs> there is nothing that the television can 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 uh <laughs> to say to anybody and be like oh yeah we mastered no, no, no the only thing you have come close to mastering is uh, theft uh, illusion and distraction <laughs> anything else is just um, it's just funny talk it's just cuckoo it's exactly what it is uh, so once we get out of <laughs> those little uh, spaces where we don't necessarily know what what a duck is <laughs> a wood duck or a real duck we've been uh, we've been in decoy mode for a long time chasing around these little wood ducks and uh, forgetting about our, our true potential both uh, individually and collectively where we fly as those eagles the high flyers who bridge worlds and bridge dimensions creation the thunderbird yeah, so when we when we access our own inner eagle, what does that mean? So go back in going back into last night. <clears throat> um, I like pushing the limits for myself to to maintain a space of uncomfortableness. If I go out there <laughs> for me, uh, and by me being in that vulnerable space and then coming out of it. It, it's a it's a supercharged um, uh, jump whatever it is I, I don't even fully understand it I can just feel it in them I can see it in people's faces when they go up and down and like the oh because I feel it too I feel uncomfortable for people um, when they get embarrassed or when they do something that is not part of the show or what, whatever it is I mean we all have our own little insecurities and things in that nature but uh to do it to go through it and then come out of it is a different it's a different flavor it's a different experience that's the main thing it's a different experience and i see the words open mic and i want to fly in the most extreme spaces why because i well how far is open well today open right now open when you go anywhere in an open mic you mostly uh get music uh, it's local usually it's always you know uh artists who are local or just starting out or want to be in small environments and venues but it's usually just music in certain areas it's only music like you can't even go in any places and, and do anything else other than music or or what uh even a certain type of music like you can't even so open is is closing that's what's happening when that happens that means open 
open mics are actually closing and 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 arts free art is it's one of the last uh collective communication devices that we have that's a direct link from the heart is once everything is commercialized and turned into a, a mainstream sort of uh design then we lose a lot of the essence of um, who who we are individually and uh, all together <clears throat> it kind of like dries it out and maintains a certain level of uh, uh, boxiness just you, you once you go into that space you got to fit into a box if you don't fit into that box then you're not welcome so when I see boxes uh, I see how many circles can fit in and around that box and how can that box open up how can how can we understand more of ourselves just by being aware of our surroundings and if I have to go into a space and tell some poetry and um, just talk to some people or, or, or tell my story or whatever it is just hold a space mainly hold a space for people to observe themselves I guess that that's a more of a, per, a, a closer um, understanding from last night and any other night that I go out and do that is really so I'm going, I'm, I'm understanding myself even more now by looking back at it as I'm sitting up there and understanding myself. Other people are also doing the same. So there's just a, a live version of collective reflection or a shared heart. And to go, well, the details mostly of uh, uh, the space that I was holding is mostly empowerment. Just breathing, empowerment, holding space, staying in the moment, understanding compassion and connection, and uh, <clears throat> being being there, wherever there is. If there is going into a story about me and my family are there is going into an observation of our surroundings or whatever it is uh, that space being held uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's potent is active and it allows people uh, to see different versions of people other people and simultaneously see different versions of themselves it just kind of like sucks judgment into the moment like and just dissipates it because uh, I, I I I really don't care about um, the the judgments that get passed on to me um, because that's what we're that's what this whole experience is there's the idea of the self and then there's what everybody else sees and that's infinite so as long as you know who you are and what you are then you don't have to worry about what anybody else is thinking about you um, other than a, a, an observation of awareness into how this perspective can help me learn grow and be a better be a better person or whatever or whatever lesson is being whatever lesson is being said in the moment if it's a lesson or whatever healing that's being exchanged in the moment or whatever um, whatever it is it could be anything but the awareness is the space in where we see it and then we can say oh that's what that is or this is this is this is what this moment is about when we place the judgment on it we place a limitation we don't get to see all the other versions all the other angles that are part of this particular moment so I'll <laughs> getting into a moment and just taking a whole bunch of different moments 
uh, are, are a whole bunch of different feelings or flavors of different moments or and mixing them all in together spinning them around and then stirring it up and then going from there I mean that's that's what you know that's what little kids do <laughs> actually it's just like just have fun Under, understand understand that this is this moment in time is very important it's it's cherished like we didn't wake up to go back to sleep uh, yeah we'll wake up in the morning it's for a reason <clears throat> many many reasons that we uh, are understanding more and more every day and uh, with that I just I'll leave it at that and help people help people help themselves that's just a really cool way of seeing it have a good